Face the Nation, it's very interesting how you guys, and uh, Frank Luntz especially, you do these focus groups, you get people in these rooms where they can sit there and be influenced by others' opinions. You know what? It's really entertaining to watch. It makes good theater. But the reality is this. Donald Trump speaks with a voice for millions of people. Not just your focus group who really can't make up their mind what's going on. Oh, wait, he made a comment and now I've lost my ability to vote for him. Really? Grow a set of balls. The guy is going to be a president that when something happens and people go against the United States, that he's going to stand up for us. He's not going to bow down and kiss their butt. And you know what? He's not automatically going to launch nuclear weapons. Wipe that out of your mind. There's a whole process that happens before a nuclear strike can be initiated. And it's not magically just, you know, oh, let's just push the button like Dr. Evil can. No, it's not that simple to do. There's a process and the process can be overridden. Okay, so wipe that out of your minds. Donald Trump's like any one of us. If your daughter goes out on a date and she's raped by somebody, are you going to stand there and go, oh, well, wait, I can't, no, you're going to take action. If your son goes out and is beaten up by a gang of thugs, are you going to go, oh, wait, I don't know what to do? Or are you going to stand up and take action? Donald Trump takes action. Put yourself in his position. The guy's a multi-billionaire, and he's put his life out on the line, his whole personal life out on the line, his family's personal lives on the line, to run for president of the United States. Why? Oh, well, wait, he didn't have anything else to do? Jesus, the guy can get on a plane and go anywhere in the world at any time of the day or night. He had better things to do, but you know what? He said, and I quote, I love America. I'm doing this for America because I love America. The guy put his own life on hold and is stepping out to step up for all of us. So CBS Face the Nation, CBS Sunday Morning, Frank Luntz and your frickin' focus groups, get focused. The focus should be on Hillary Clinton. Why is she running? Why is the Clinton Foundation accepting millions of dollars in donations from foreign entities? And why is George Soros involved? And why hasn't he been found, taken out, or locked up and chained up somewhere like the little dog that he is? Those are things you ought to be asking about. What's Hillary's health concerns? She's on Coumadin? My father was on Coumadin. Every little cut can affect their lives. Every little paper cut can affect their lives. Medications. Massive amounts of medications. Dick Cheney was on them. Dick Cheney went through heart surgery and things like that when he was in office. He wasn't the president. He was the vice president. Big issue. Those are things you ought to be concerned about. Donald Trump is doing this for America. He loves America. Once the rest of America, those voting for Hillary to lie and cheat and steal and wipe out our people... Once those people understand that Trump is doing this for America, the tide will turn, and hopefully that will be very soon. Liberals need a damned wake-up call. It's time. It's Trump time. It's time for a 48-state landslide on November 8th. Only Colorado and Utah will screw this up and not make it a 50-state landslide. Remember that. That's my quote. Donald Trump is on a mission from God to rescue the United States from the evils of the Democratic Party, period.